Gerald Charles Genta was born in Geneva to a Swiss mother and father of Piemonte or Fernity Larn Italian descent. Genta finished jewelry and goldsmith training in Switzerland, earning his Swiss federal diploma. Subsequently, Gerald Genta was recruited by Universal Genevesa, at the time one of the most recognized manufacturers in both the US and Europe for its chronograph models. Gerald Genta's work with Universal Geneva saw would be a precursor to future collaborations with other brands in Switzerland and throughout Europe, including Audemars Piguet Royal Oak. One of Genta's most recognizable designs was the Audemars Piguet Royal Oak, which was considered to be the first luxury sports watch in the world. The watch was inspired by traditional diving helmets and therefore featured exposed screw heads as well as a unique case design. The watch also featured an integrated bracelet. 2. Patek Philippe Nautilus in 1976. Poti Philippe introduced the Nautilus collection, designed by Genta Dublecki after deciding it was time to produce an exclusive sport watch with finishes of the highest quality. The first model was Ref. 3700 and was made of steel. The Nautilus was released by Patek Philippe during the quartz crisis in the hope that it would help reattract people's attention to high-end Swiss mechanical watches. The Nautilus collection played a key role in Pate Philippe's overall marketing strategy, as it had to refresh the brand image while perpetuating tradition. The target was represented by dynamic business managers of the new generations. The Nautilus wrist watch has become one of the most popular collections from Patek Philippe and the Ref. 5,711, 5,712 models, which the company introduced in 2006 to celebrate the 30th anniversary of the collection, are among the most popular models. Today, the model Ref. 5,711 has become a true icon of success and style as it is adorned by various famous celebrities and sports stars. 3. IWC Schaffhausen in Gainier Cell Jumbo Ref. 1832 designed by Gerald Genta in 1974 and manufactured by I.W. Schaffhausen in 1976, the Injur SL Automatic Ref. 1832 is considered one of the most sought-after watches in I.W.C.'s history. As part of I.Y.C.'s SL collection of luxury steel sports, watches launched in the 1970s. The timepiece became known and appreciated for both its strong aesthetic codes and technical refinements. Rubber buffers absorbed heavy shocks and impacts, while a soft iron inner case protected the automatic movement caliber 8541 from strong magnetic fields. Due to its large size and an impressive case, diameter of 40 millimeters, which was particularly unique for its time, the Ingenieur SL was soon known among watch aficionados as the Jumbo. Gerald Genta created the Ingenieu SL during the quartz crisis, a challenging period for IWC and the entire watch industry. At that time, the watch manufacturer aimed at expanding its product portfolio to include more mechanical watches in stainless steel. Genta was commissioned to find a new visual identity for IWC's Ingenieur. The manufacturer's first anti-magnetic watch for civilian use developed in the 1950s. In his design of the new, robust engineer model in stainless steel, Genta successfully highlighted its distinctive technical character. The watch's integrated H-link bracelet, structured dial, and, above all, the screw-on bezel with five recesses became the in your cells trademark features. After starting his own brand in 1969, Genta would create the Sonneries NW. Among them, the Gerald Genta Octo Grande Sonnery Tourbillon, which contained four gongs and an emulated Westminster quarters, bell ring at each quarter and on the hour, the same melody rung out by London's Big Ben and priced at $810,200. In 1994, he designed the Grande Sonnery Retro, the world's most complicated wristwatch, and priced at approximately $2 million. For private requests, Genta hand-designed the movements, dials and cases of his timepieces and employed limited or no external assistance, outsourcing or mechanization during the process. It was not unusual for a single watch to take up to five years to complete. During the 1980s, Genta obtained special licensing with the Walt Disney Company and distributed a limited edition of Disney character watches to the public. Previously,
They had been an unofficial private request by one of Genta's repeat customers. The dials consisted of illustrations of Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse, Donald Duck, Scrooge, and Goofy, with cases made of 18-karat gold. Designed in Labrasus, Switzerland, the watches retailed between $3,250 and $650 in 1988. During the latest 80s design, the Gepica Safari was presented in Basel World, 1984. First bronze case watch in history. Has a bronze compass on the deployant clasp, a complicated annual calendar, and moon phase mecha quartz movement. The dial benefits of lapis lazuli or coral insert, 18K gold accents, and hands and real shark leather strap. First version came in Ardesia or real tortoise shell dial. Meteorite or mother of pearl version came after. There were other versions during the 90s done in full gold or automatic chrono based on value 7,000, 750. Genta's clients have included athletes, business people, musicians, movie stars, politicians, and royalty, including Prince Rainier of Monaco, King Hassani of Morocco, King Juan Carlos and Queen Sophia of Spain, King Fahd of Saudi Arabia, and Queen Elizabeth, the Queen Mother of England. Genta himself only designed wristwatches. He preferred not to wear them. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content.